What's up, Crow Nation? It's your favorite time of the week. Here's the top 10 plays from round eight. Kevin Cassero had to throw another quarter in because he was dialing from long distance on this backdoor pass to Jim Bradley who lays it in for two. Now that's field vision. Number nine, Zach Van Fossen is the king of swagging out saves, but I've never seen him do a full flip. Now dust yourself off and do it again. Greg Ermel blasts this drop kick from the top of the wedge past two defenders at number eight. Ermel went a legendary nine for nine on the day. Ah, good defense, Bergen, but not good enough as Joe Petrino posterizes him from the flex. His arm angle and body control was just silly on this play. Number six, if you like salami, then you'll love Matt Parsons' slammy sandwich with a side of Dunkaroos. Yeah, I went there, but seriously, how good were Dunkaroos? Matt Erglovich is at number five, just embarrassing Joe Amendola. Nasty stuff, Ergs. It's okay, Joe. Pick up your shorts and try better next time. Seems I made my way onto the countdown at number four with an acrobatic four-point shot. I must admit, when I saw that hair coming at me, I was a little nervous. Number three, Harold Bolton connects on three ring shots to help the Evergreens clinch a playoff spot. My man even kicked one from the wedge. Impressive. Oh look, Vince Rode is on the top ten. He's been trying this all year and finally converted. Rode has spiked a four-point shot at the prime rush, the first time that's ever happened in Cronin League history. And your top play of the week comes from wedge back Steve Botta of the throwback. Botta straight catches this shot in a full layout. Stopped me in my tracks when I saw him snatch it. That is a spectacular save. Steve Botta is your top play. That means he'll be going up against Vince Rota's game winning shot and game winning save from round seven in the best of the best. Cast your vote on chronum.com.